tough day at the office uh, for Waterford, losing 121 to 117. The thing I'll say is that they did have a fairly experimental lineup. So no matter what uh, what the outcome was, I think Liam Cattle was going to at least have the value of finding out are some of his younger players up to it or not. Not everyone passed the test and uh, yeah, I mean, it was an experimental side and they didn't give up after going eight points down. They brought it back to to four points for a finish. So at least they did that much. Uh, just to run to the team, Sean O'Brien in goal, seven. Connor Gleeson, who had a very rough opening day against Patrick Horgan, brought off in the first half. Played midfield against Tipperary uh, a week ago, and he was in cornerback, and he didn't do bad, to be fair to him. Um, he was on he was on David Dempsey for a nice bit of it, but uh, I'd give him a seven. They were under a fair bit of pressure back there. Connor Prunty, the same, who picked up um, Aaron Galan, but if the ball is into space into Aaron Galan, I think every fullback's going to have trouble, so I'd give Prunty a seven. I, th- I didn't think he did too badly. Shane McNulty, who was brilliant against Tipperary, give him a seven. Callum Lyons, I think he's one of the best young wing backs in the country, if not just flat out one of the best wing backs in the country. Give him eight. He scored a point from the back, from the backs, and uh, just bursts out with the ball so often. Wins rock ball. I think there's there's very little he can't do. So, um, like with that full back line, well, with Conor Prunty in the back line, and with um, with Callum Lyons there as well. Things things look good for Watford in terms of development options. Irla Daly went off injured. He's, he had scored a point. I give him a seven. I think for Tom Barron, he's a very young guy, brother of Jamie. Um, probably just needs to become a little bit more calm on the ball. Um, did a couple of decent things, but I'd probably give him a five. Just didn't quite... Um, just probably had himself turned over too many times on this occasion. But um, that's not to write him off. Jamie Barron, I thought, was brilliant. He was marking Keen Lynch. Scored two points from play. I felt he just about edged a great battle between two of my favourite players going. The guys that I would say should be the 2017 and 2018 hurlers of the year, but obviously people voted differently. Mark O'Brien taken off in the first half, as was MJ Sutton, so I'll give them a couple of fives. Park Mahoney a five also. He scored a point from play and six frees. Started to miss frees and give them off to Stephen Bennett ultimately. Uh, probably didn't get into the game that much. Neil Montgomery's a player I like. Give him six. Jack Prendergast, six. Patrick Curran didn't get into the game. Give him a five. And Stephen Bennett, uh, six. So three points, two of those from freeze. Um, so I think the amount of fives and sixes in that Watford team tells you that it wasn't a particularly good performance from a lot of them. There's a few guys who did stand out. But the fact that there's an awful lot more in them and they still only lost by four points to a Limerick team that would have more regulars, there's changes on that Limerick team, but they've obviously got the depth for it to not look as experimental. Um, Jack Fagan came on and scored a goal, I give him a seven. Peter Hogan, seven, he just looks lively, player I, I really like. Mikey Carney, quiet when he came on, very good against Tipperary. Billy Power, I uh, give him a seven, got a nice point. And then Dara Lyons came on five minutes to go and scored a point, made a bit of an impact. So let me know what you think of the Watford performances against Limerick on Saturday night. Thanks for watching our game. Don't forget to like and share the videos and if you're new to the channel, hit subscribe.